Okay, ambient sound um, is basically any room you walk into, it's never really totally silent unless it's an anechoic chamber, um, <laughs> which is pretty awesome and you should check it out if you haven't. Um, but a good idea is to sit in any room and listen for everything from the lower frequencies to the higher frequencies. Is there the air conditioner on? Is somebody walking down the hallway? It might be something as quiet as just hearing your own breath and the way that echoes off of the room because each room will affect the sounds that you make and come back to you. Um, and all of those combine to make the ambient sound. Um, if, if you have a good take, but there's some interruption, you want to get rid of it, but you don't lose it because you can throw the ambient in it. Could you describe a scenario like that? Sure, if you have a take and somebody happens to open the door and ask you how you're doing, but you really wanted to keep that take without that person's voice in there, um, you could cut out the audio that they just ruined for you and splice in some of your ambient sound that you already recorded for the room, and it'll help fill that gap so you won't hear the sudden dead dropout because you will hear a dropout if you just cut out sound and there's nothing there because the room is not silent. <laughs> and if you already have that recorded, you're already covered and that's so wonderful and you don't have to lose your wonderful footage. We, we covered a lot of good things with room tone. Could we start with why you should record it and how you could use it to fill a hole? Sure, if you need to fill a hole and you're recording ambient sound, um, you could go into a room and maybe record about a minute of ambient audio, so that way if you are shooting at a later date and the room sound is different, you can take that bass tone of ambient audio and then you can layer it into the other clips as needed and it doesn't have anything else on top of it, um, and that can be helpful. Young people when they're making films oftentimes will you know, take it at different times, maybe different days. Okay. And the sounds won't seem united, even though it might be in the same space. Can you talk about tricks to hide that? Absolutely. Um, I would recommend if you know you're going to be going into a shoot like that, um, you have your initial sound from the first shoot, um, and you can either choose to try to remove as much of that background sound as possible with the microphones that you're using in the later shoots. Um, so then you can make your own ambient sound using um, sound effects libraries, music synthesis, um, wave synthesis. You can do some pretty amazing things in post with that to have one consistent background sound. Or you can take that initial background sound that you had and um, use in the subsequent clips. You can layer it in to the background, um, but definitely lace all of your clips together and then listen to it and try to make sure the EQ is as consistent as possible. Um, if there's something where there's a constant bird chirping in the background and it just cuts out, you know, really try to listen to all of the sounds that are going on. And um, yeah, so I would say those two things that would probably be the most useful would be, yeah, taking some of the sound from one location if you're shooting in the same location the next day and then using pieces of that that sound to kind of create your own ambient sound even if it's not true you know a good example of ambient tone is when you're watching a movie like Monsters Inc where they create all of the sound and there never really is silence where as if you muted it if people weren't talking there's still something where you might hear a faint machinery sound in the background um, every room has some sound to it and I, I think it's just really important to um, start being aware of whenever you're in a room, start mentally cataloging, you know, go from the lower frequencies up to the higher one mentally if you can and go, okay, you know, is there a hiss in the background? Is there air conditioning? Um, and it, it can lend um, importance to the story because every sound, it's not just filler. Um, it's just like a, a script, it has meaning every little piece of the sound design. You might be focusing on the air conditioning sound because the character is tense and the character that you're focusing on is focusing on the sounds of the room. Or it might be, um, I don't know, something else um, that there, someone's conversation that they're listening to down the hall. So you really want to be um, sure of like why you're putting certain sounds in certain places.